I need to create a floor plan that shows the existing walls and shows the demolished walls together. So I'm going to create a viewport. Now I've turned off some of the classes already so that it's easier for me to see things. The way that I do it quite often is just have a look at what class things are on or if I'm really quick I want to use the visibility tool and I want to click on something and hide its class for example the foundation walls. Okay so I've got what I need. I'm just going to create a rectangle make my viewport. It's my rectangle view on the menu bar create viewport this is going to be my existing plan so yes and I'm going to turn that off I don't want to see that again so this is going on a brand new sheet layer so this is a new sheet layer and it is 01 unless I've already got one of those uh, I just need to check that so I'm just going to make it 02 just to make sure this is my existing and demo plans existing and demolition plans great so this is going to be my existing so we're going to use a label it's going to use that label the drawing number is that and the title is going to be existing plan cool now I've already set the layers and classes that I want and I'm going to be in top view click OK and there's my existing plan there so what I would like to do is to move this across. I'm going to drag that across there. That's going to be my existing plan. I need a, a title block. So what I'm going to do is have a look. So I already named one 1001. Uh, so I'm going to name this one here 002. So it follows the same system. Let's have a look at this one. It's got a title block. So I'll copy that title block. Go to the next layer down. And I'm just going to paste that. And it'll end up in the right place. So that's my existing plan. It's not spelt very well. You can see I've accidentally added a capital there. So existing plan and drag a copy of this across. because This is going to be my demolition plan. Let's move that across there. Demolition plan. Now, at the moment, they both look identical. One of the things I'd like to show you is how you can take this particular plan here and change it so that the classes look like existing walls. So we're going to find the walls, we're going to find wall demolition, where's it? wall demolished, that one there, and my wall existing, wherever that one is, that one there. Let's edit both of those and we'll change the line weight to suit both of them. So we're going to have a solid fill, we're going to have a black pen, we're going to have a solid line around everything, and a thin line. It's OK and OK, and now you can see it looks very much like an existing plan. Now I need some room labels of course. Now this one I really want to emphasize the walls that are being demolished. So here I'm going to go back to my classes just up here classes. I'm going to choose my demolished walls again. So again let's look for wall demolished this one here. Let's edit that one and what I'd like this one to be is a, is a pattern or a hatch. Let's use a hatch and we'll find a hatch that works for that hard fill hatch maybe. We're going to change the line weight, make it a heavy line so that it really shows up. Let's click OK. Let's just preview. We're not sure if we like this. We'll just preview that. And you can see there's my hatched walls and these are the walls to be demolished. Now I've also got uh, the ability to turn on my notes for demolished walls. So I've actually got some notes here. Notes demo. Let's turn those back on we can see my notes. This plan here is just a little large so what I'm going to do with this one change this to 1 to 100 because I'm just going to push this out of the way and that'll give me room to increase the crop of this one. Let's edit my crop object. I need to see these notes here. I hope you enjoyed that movie. Now that's really only a small part of what we could do with viewports and floor plans. There's so much more that I want to teach you. And if you'd like to learn more, visit my website www.archoncad.com. You'll find a huge range of resources there so that you can learn to be more effective and have more fun with Vectorworks.